Welcome back to In Ohio Country today. And joining me now is Jim Williams. And Jim is the safety coordinator, if you will, for Midwest Electric. Jim, thanks for joining us. Uh, thank you. Let's talk a little bit about uh, farm safety when it comes to electrical hazards. So with our power lines, our power lines are a little over 12,000 volts. So that's a lot of power. Uh, big thing for our lines in the fields, look up first. Look up, see what's up there. If there's a wire up there, you don't know what it is, so stay away from it. If you need to work around it, give us a call or give whichever power company that is a call, and we'll come out and let, and let you know what it is and advise you on that. Yeah, we have a lot of visible lines, but there's also a lot of buried lines, and our farmers need to know, you know, when they're moving things or trying to build things on the farm, they need to call before they dig, right? Oh, yes, they have to call Ohio 811, so call 811 anytime you're going to dig. And that way, because there's more than just the power lines, and there's 12,000 volt power lines in the ground. There's also propane and gas lines, and so you need to know where those are because all of that is a danger. Midwest uh, Electric, of course, is part of our electric cooperatives here in the Buckeye State, and you guys are always looking for great people to come and work for you. Let's talk about a little bit about those employees and their knowledge and, and getting them uh, prepared to be working for you or what kind of experience they ha they come to you with. Okay. So to be a lineman for uh, anybody, not just electric cooperatives, um, most of the companies in this nation go through what's called an apprenticeship. Uh, for us, that is a four-year program where they do classes up at uh, Colt Field, which is our, uh, our lineman development through our statewide and then they come back and they work on the crews for four years. Mm -hmm. And during that four years, there's, there's different stages where at first they're not allowed to touch anything energized. They're being trained. And then we'll start working them where they can touch and work on 120 volt up to 480 volt. But they have a qualified lineman right there looking over their shoulder, making sure they're, they're doing all the right things and not mm -hmm. doing anything that's going to hurt them. Um, then the next step is they'll start working the 7,200, 12,000 volt with the same thing with alignment right there beside them, making sure they're doing it right. And then in that final stage, they'll be working it, but they're, the alignment may not be right there on their shoulder, but they'll be close by watching. And then after four years and, and uh, qualifying through all their training and passing all their tests, then they become what we call a first-class lineman, and then they can go out there and work on the lines without having that person directly watching them. Now, even with that, uh, with even our qualified linemen, we do training every month for our linemen, and that's through their entire career. Every month we're doing training. Every morning we hold a meeting, and part of that meeting is safety. And so we take our training and that safety very, very seriously. Uh, because it is a dangerous field, and uh, but it's also a rewarding job. So it's it's uh, very technical nowadays, and it's also very physical, and we put people's power back on. Yeah, you do that, especially after the events that occurred recently here in West Central Ohio. You know, after a tornado or a windstorm, down power lines become a extreme hazard in our rural communities not only with our farmers and producers, but also for our residents. So you have a bit of advice for people when they see a down power line, right? Yeah, if you see any wire on the ground, leave it be. Stay about 50 to 60 foot from it, because a 12,000 volt line that's on the ground, that electricity will actually travel through the ground. So stay away from it, don't touch it. It may not make any noise, no sound, nothing. It's actually kind of rare to see what they show in Hollywood. Um, so it could be sitting there fully energized and not give you any indication. So stay away from it. Give us a call. If you don't know which power company it is, call 911. They have maps of where the different power companies are, and they'll give us a call to have us come out and make it safe. Boy, if you want to see something dramatic, you need to check these guys out, the Ohio Electric Cooperatives at Farm Science Review, because that display is probably the most dramatic demonstration of how powerful electricity is and how dangerous it could be and maybe talk a little bit about what you're doing to educate the public along those routes as well. So we do different types of things we have like we're doing here today we're doing a PowerPoint presentation 
We also, for schools and 4-H groups and different smaller groups, we have a tabletop demonstration, which is actually a 10,000 volt demonstration, where we can throw small arcs with that. Just like the one at Farm Science Review, we have a larger demonstration where we actually set up 20-foot poles, put a real transformer on it, and backfeed that. And so we have a 7,200-volt line there, and we'll ground things to it, we'll throw arcs, we'll show you different things that can happen with that, including uh, we have a little metal car that will energize and show you that, you know, what can happen if it's a car pole accident. Mm. So, and all of that's free to the public. Just give us a call, and uh, we'll come out and do that. You guys have a great website as well and a, a connection to uh, lots of safety videos. If people want more information, give them your website there, Jim. It's uh, MidwestREC.com. That's MidwestREC.com. And we'll have a link to that website as well at InOhioCountry.com. Jim Williams has been our guest from Midwest Electric. Jim, thanks for joining us. Yep, thank you.